Hello guys, welcome to the Inspiring Minds. Now we are going to watch the second video of microbiology. In the previous video, I told you about the gram stain. First of all, I would like to make it clear that uh, the staining, pro staining process is not only done for, for the bacteria. Okay, it is applicable almost to all kind of microorganisms, but their names and chemical properties and structural properties are different. Okay, so. Our today topic is morphology and physiology of the bacteria. See why bacteria is so important. Bacteria is that microorganisms which cause most of the disease, infectious disease, uh, which is very harmful for the human being or any other animals. That's why we study. Okay. So I will take it from those link from uh, from that link from where you lost that. Uh, uh, concepts not loss if I tell you that practically that was the time when you studied about the Monera kingdom Monera okay unicellular prokaryotes unicellular means one cell okay and prokaryotes as you know they have false nucleus false nucleus doesn't mean nucleus absent okay or nuclear sorry nucleus absent but nuclear material present false nucleus means when we say that there is something false false appearance false chemical test false diagnosis approach that means that there is some, something like that but that is not exactly that what what we supposed to see okay so as the monera kingdom known as the unicellular prokaryotes if i tell you their peculiarities these were the they absent the membrane bound organelles that are the basically endoplasm reticulum, mitochondria, lysosome, etc. Okay. So and the second one, they have 70s ribosome, and third one, they have 0 0.2 to 2 micrometer diameter. They are that much small. See, they are in micro level. That's why we can't see them our open eyes, naked eyes. Okay. So at the uh, at this moment, that's why we are studying microbiology. So here, the prokaryotes contain false nucleus. That's why that is known as nucleoid. They contain nucleoid. You can't. One, uh, again, I want to focus here that you can't say that they are, they don't have nuclear material. They have nuclear material, right? So the first point, they uh, there is lack of the membrane bound organelles. Second, they have 70s ribosome. And third, they have a diameter of 0 0.2 to 2 micrometer. And there is single loop of DNA. What does it mean? I want to tell you that these things which you can found you can found in uh, in other books i mean almost all books when you study the microbiology but here are the things where i'm going to explain you what are those things which we study there 70s ribosomes actually it is the structural unit how we found that ribosomes in inside cell and single loop means when we talk about loop simply loop means like this way okay loop of DNA if you break the DNA deoxidable nucleic acid they are double standard so simply means they are going to be like this way okay it is a circular loop here it says single loop single loop means there is no any point for a start and end it means that it may be like this way or it may be like uh, in cluster form but in loop form okay that means single loop and the third one there is extra chromosomal material present in the prokaryotes that is known to the plasmid I will tell about plasmid in my further lecture in my further video because it is very important and very infectious for the organisms to cause the disease and in the pathogenesis study it's very important as similarly we have I mean eukaryotic cells they have mitochondria extra chromosomal DNA material present then it is a formation means that how the new bacteria that new prokaryotes form 
one of the most important thing and it is my personal observation that many times we are confused with that things that we simply say that there is no uh, there is asexual reproduction or uh, simply we stick with the one word there is only binary fusion so make it clear that yes when someone ask you that uh, can bacteria have i mean uh, can any bacteria have sexual reproduction means uh, formation of gamete and transfer of genetic materials so you can't say that no all bacteria are asexual no thing is that there is always an exception so when you study the science okay so keep in mind that mostly they transfer their genetic material through the process that is binary fusion as uh, i think you all know that binary fusion means that when one cell divide and further divide that is binary fusion okay but the transfer of genetic material is also you can, uh, it is much more similar and almost similar to the sexual reproduction when plasmid transfer the genetic material then their exchange of genetic material then there we can say somehow similar to the sexual reproduction so it will be it will be wrong if you say that uh, there is only and only a strict to the word that is sexual reproduction okay so if we talk about prokaryotes prokaryotes further divide into archaeobacteria and eubacteria but if you go there the you know proper classification you know physiological properties so you can say that archaeobacteria are capable to survive in the extreme temperature when you study further eubacteria the true bacteria then what you will find they form the spore, spore form spore relation process process and at that moment what they do they are also able to survive in extreme high temperature so existence is possible that doesn't mean in high temperature only and only archaea bacteria found spores of eu bacteria can also be found okay so that is the second point where you should be clear that only if you see the temperature and there is a in mcq questions that if you see the archaea bacteria and eu bacteria then definitely you have to go to the archaea bacteria but if you found in multiple op op uh, options there is also spore then this one may be probably the second most pro uh, priority because the spore are highly resistant to the temperature and also to the ph okay so let's go to the eu uh, bacteria shape because we are interested and also it's our in our syllabus that we have to study about eu bacteria eu bacteria known as true bacteria because there is existence of nucleoid shape see i tell you honestly that uh, if uh, you are studying in a medical college never expect things to be simple in front of you when you study these things in your high school and intermediate that was that much simple i kept in front of you but if you go to the staining process and the laboratory laboratory process then definitely it's going to be much more drastic change okay so here i am telling you just a rough diagram later i will go to their cultivations as in my previous video i told you about gram stain that is only one stain method there is step wise and a lots of staining method they have uh, i mean first i will tell you the uh, their shape that uh, as uh, yeah here bacteria have 0.222 micrometer diameter it simply i think you know you all know diameter and when we talk about the length that may exceed to 5 to 10 micrometer okay they have outer structure that is known as flagella also known as flagellum okay and uh, uh, they have a small cellular extension from their uh, self surface that is known as pili and uh, the outer one there is capsule also known as capsid somehow we uh, we call it cap and the uh, after ca after capsule there is cell wall and after cell wall there is plasma membrane that we known as nuclear membrane yep plasma membrane okay these are the simple structural component of a bacterial cell okay once again i am going to make it quick clear unicellular like and prokaryotes 
proper nucleus absent we are talking only about them next there will be the existence their properties and their further you know chemical and structural properties i will tell us uh, tell you stepwise as i told you in my previous video that there is gram positive and gram negative bacteria these are the only categories of bacteria which we can decide on the behalf of they are they having this kind of thick cell wall and cell wall property and they have those particular properties another they don't have that's why they are gram negative bacteria okay further classification is more interesting and also they are complex in my next video i am going to because i will uh, i will just suggest you to remember these things cap pm f for flagella pi for pili and uh, cell wall cw he uh, this is also sometime marks at capsid this will be uh, this will come again in serology okay so in the next video i am going to tell you about the staining process for the elaboration of staining process where i will help you to identify not only the gram positive gram, gram negative bacteria but those bacteria which can have their cell uh, uh, further modifications and on the behalf of their stain you can say you can find out that those bacteria is uh, from the like capsule containing capsule forming or somehow they are uh, you know gram positive gram negative they have flagella or they not have uh, flagella modern technique classical technique and my focus will be the first one your crop questions and second i will cover the kaplan for those guys who are inspired i actually if you are watching this video this means that you are interested in study i tell you truly that uh, first your basic concepts and tactical and practical knowledge should be clear only then you can understand the complex level kaplan ifm usmle is that level in the next video after staining process i will discuss the first uh, the first department of mcq questions that will be crop hope you enjoyed this video and for any kind of question or if you want to ex uh, if you want me to explain any of this topic particularly if you don't understand i'm here you can comment in the comment section and like share and subscribe inspiring minds thank you